I never used to have pop-up tents, but I decided to try it out. So now I got pop-up tents and they're actually doing pretty good. I, I bought expensive pop-up tents because I don't want them to fail. So I got the pop-up tents and a lot of times they're going on asphalt or concrete. And I don't want to use a block and roll for that. I don't like sandbags. So I just came up with put something in the bucket. There you go, blah, blah, blah. I just came up with put concrete in a bucket, put some sort of hook in there. And in this video, I show you two hooks. And then I got, I think they're about 110, 120 pounds. It takes like a bag and a half of concrete to make. So here's how I make them. So you're gonna need a bunch of buckets so that it's not annoying doing only one a day. I got these from a contractor friend I know. So you need concrete, something to mix it in. I got an electric one, but you can just get like a bin. And this is mold release. You spray it in the buckets and then the concrete just comes out. And then these I got from Black and Roll. So you mix the concrete, I didn't show that, but and you put it in the buckets and then you just push it in. It's actually easier if you hammer it in, but I only had one hand. And then I figured out, hey, I can hammer with one hand while I'm filming. So hammered in, ready to go. These are all ready to go. Just leave them out to dry. So if you don't have extra black and roll pieces laying around, you can get a long enough eye bolt, two nuts, and a washer, a big enough washer. You just put the two nuts, one above, one below the washer to hold it in place. And then you put that down into the bucket, and then it's not coming out. The links for these are in the description of this video. It's just a long enough I bolt a big enough washer and two bolts and this is where it's done all dry ready to go now if your hook is sticking too far out of your bucket to do it against the ground you can get two pieces of wood put it on it hit it with a rubber hammer and you're good